Watch this video to learn how to use the client CCTV DVR software for Mac to play back and export video footage that was recorded by an iDVR video surveillance recorder. These instructions are applicable to the original iDVR-E for CCTV cameras, as well as the new hybrid iDVR-E models that work with both standard definition CCTV cameras as well as the new HD CCTV cameras that are based on AHD technology. To start, we are going to launch the client software on our Macintosh PC. On the login screen, you need to enter the IP address and host name where your DVR is located, as well as your user ID and password. Then click Login. Now that we're logged into the DVR, the first thing that you see is a live view of the four cameras that are connected. Uh, this is a four channel hybrid model DVR, so the top two channels are standard definition CCTV and the bottom are HD CCTV cameras. And all we're doing right now is we're just going to watch a live view and I'm going to create an event on the DVR. It's not going to be anything exciting. I'm just going to walk in front of cameras uh, three and four. So there I am walking in front of channel four. I'll just give a quick wave. And in a second you'll see me on camera number three. And the, the DVR is set to continuous recording right now, but it's also set to motion recording on channels three and four. Um, that's one of the nice things about the iDVR is you can do continuous recording as well as bookmark events like motion detection or other type of alarm events. So here I'm coming into the door behind uh, Darth Vader there and I'll just give the camera a quick wave. And again, this is a live view using the Mac client software. Uh, we're just viewing the cameras live on the recorder and in a second we'll play back this video events that just occurred. Now, let's log into the DVR again with the Mac client software. This time, I want to set up a file download path for the recorded video surveillance that we will export. This is done using the download field on the login screen, and you can set a custom path by clicking on the Browse button. When you click on the button, a standard finder window opens on the Mac, and, and you can just browse the directory that you want to use to save the exported video. After, basically, after we view the surveillance video footage, we're going to export it to a file and then also play it back in the file. So once I log into the DVR, again, here's the live view. And then I'm going to click the remote uh, playback button here in the upper left. That brings up a time and date search. And I know the event that I created happened around uh, 1228. So I select the 12 on today's date. And then I'm going to select the minutes uh, 28 and 29 here and then press the search button. That immediately starts playing back the video at 1228. And I can use these controls down here to play the video faster or slower, both in forward and reverse. I'm just gonna fast forward to the first event on camera four, which was me you know, waving. And then we'll fast forward to the second event that occurred, which was me again waving up there on camera three by Darth Vader. So. Uh, the purpose of this was just to review the event and now we confirmed exactly what time the motion detection events occurred at. So now we can export those events. So if I click the search button, it'll bring up the time and date search again. And again, I'll select the same exact time frame, but this time I'm going to select uh, download instead of playback. And when I do that, that brings up a screen and shows me the status of uh, the video download. That's exporting the video from all four cameras to a player file. And then I hit complete when that's done. And now I'll show you how to play back that file. So if I do uh, the open playback, uh, then I can browse to the, the video file that we just exported. So I'll open up that CMS file. And then when I do, again, it opens the uh, video playback player and I can play back the video in, in forward, reverse, uh, fast or slow, uh, just as if I was connected to the DVR, but this is playing it back from the file. So um, you can use that, you can provide these files for uh, a court if, if uh, you have surveillance footage that's needed for a court case. And uh, here I just show you that you can go to full screen on a single camera and I'll reverse it back here and I can pause it. So 
So pause it better there so you can see it. And then uh, let's see the second event that occurred upstairs on camera three. There's the other event. And again, I can go full screen on that camera and pause it. And because this is done from a file and not on the DVR, you, you can bring these files with you anywhere. Uh, you can you put it on a Mac laptop and, and play back this video footage, basically using a virtual DVR, you know, the software player um, that you can use anywhere. And uh, when you're done, I just go back to live view here. For more information on the latest iDVR-E video surveillance DVRs that work with both traditional and high-definition CCTV cameras, please visit www.idvr.net. Thank you for watching.